It's certainly filmmaking is a manipulative form. I don't see document, documentary filmmaking necessarily that way. Like, I don't think you should lie to people to, to get a truth. That's just not my style. But to be aware of that, of, of that style and to be aware of, of that, that filmmaking, I think, is important. Because I was able to make a decision, being exposed to it, that I was not going to engage in deception as a way to arrive at some truth. Um, but it's still... I'm not going to lie, it makes for good television. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, entertaining, uh, it's entertaining in a nonfiction genre. That's the exciting thing about nonfiction filmmaking, too, is that, first of all, we're all, by virtue of the proliferation of digital cameras and cell phone cameras, we're all nonfiction filmmakers now. Whether we know it or not, whether we like it or not, whether we want to be or not, you pull out your phone and start recording something, you're a verite filmmaker, you're a, faker, a filmmaker, you're a documentarian, you're a nonfiction filmmaker. And so I think that possibility in, in and of itself is exciting, you know, the citizen journalism uh, angle of all of this. Um, but also the idea that, and I think people don't consider it this way, is that documentary filmmaking isn't a genre. Documentary filmmaking is filmmaking that contains every genre of film. Musical, comedy, sports, suspense, romance, what, you name a genre of film that you like, sci-fi, you can make a documentary, or there are docu countless documentaries. I like war films, I like westerns. I like, there's documentaries, of, uh, or you can pr make a documentary in any of those genres. So that's the, it, the possibilities are endless, and because of the, you know, the digital revolution, first the democratization of production with digital cameras, and now the democratization of distribution through the internet and, and, and streaming platforms, uh, and faster, of course, upload times and, and, you know, and, and everything, um, the, the world is really our oyster. And I think that's, I think it, it becomes easier then to get young people excited about documentary filmmaking because they have the tool in their pocket anyway. And whether they know it or not, they are voracious consumers of it, both on you know, traditional platforms like, the, uh, like television or uh, you know, newer digital platforms like Netflix and the internet. I mean, you go on, you watch people's Vines or you watch people's Instagram videos. That's essentially nonfiction filmmaking. That's documentary filmmaking. People are documenting their lives or these incidents that are occurring around them. And I think once you offer that context to, to young people or to filmmakers, they go, oh, you're right, the possibilities are endless and that's really exciting.